Hi, my name is Katrina Geddes. I am a PhD student at NYU Law, and my paper at FACT 2022 is The Death of the Legal Subject, How Predictive Algorithms Are Reconstructing Legal Subjectivity. So the elevator pitch for this paper is that legal decision making relies increasingly on predictive algorithms to determine individual rights and interests. Scholarship in this space has focused on the effects of algorithmic bias and opacity. The assumption underlying this focus is that if algorithmic models could be debiased and disclosed, that their use in legal contexts would otherwise be permissible. What this perspective overlooks is the epistemic effect of algorithmic knowledge on how we construct and understand the legal subject. So to give you a more concrete example, when judges turn to algorithms to guide their decision-making, the legal subject is increasingly constructed from algorithmic knowledge. So qualitative information about an individual's circumstances, the rich contextual nuance of their lives is increasingly discounted and displaced by statistical predictions. So the reasons why a particular defendant might not reoffend in the future, for example, because they have strong ties to their faith-based community, or they have a really special relationship with their family, or a strong determination to become sober, all of these reasons become less important than the statistical features that they share with people who have reoffended in the past. This displacement of qualitative individual knowledge with algorithmic predictions diminishes the participation of the legal subject in the epistemic processes that will determine their fundamental liberties. This is what I mean when I say the death of the legal subject. It also transfers epistemic authority from the individual whose behavior is being predicted to the data capitalist whose predictions now form the basis for decision making. It also positions data capitalists as essential intermediaries, translating the embodied experience of living into machine readable data. What I'm interested in interrogating in this paper and in my research more broadly is what are the consequences of that shift in power? What happens when we live in a completely datafied world where embodied actions are less consequential than predictions of them? When prediction rather than autonomous conduct forms the basis, the knowledge basis for our decision making? How does that affect the legitimacy of our political and legal institutions? These are the things that I want to discuss in my paper, and thank you for joining me.